Okay, so here we're going to prove the constant rule for derivatives, which says that if f of x is equal to k, where k is a real number, in other words, a constant, like say k, f of x equals 5 or f of x equals negative a half, then the derivative of that function will be equal to 0. And just intuitively, this kind of makes sense because f of x equals to any number is going to be a horizontal line. And we know that the slope of a horizontal line is zero, and the derivative represents slope, and so it's going to equal zero. No matter what two points you choose, it, the slope will always be zero. But we can prove this using the limit definition of derivative, and which says that the derivative of f of x is the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. And, well, what's f of x plus h? Well, the whole idea of a constant function is that no matter what x value you you choose, no matter what input you choose, you're always going to get output of k, right? It, if you choose, it's a horizontal line. So if you choose x here, then you're going to get k. If you choose x here, you're going to get k. No matter where along that line, you're going to get the output of the same constant value. And so in other words, f of x plus h is k, and f of x, well, by definition, is equal to k. And so we're going to get k minus k, or 0 over h, 0 over h is 0. And so the limit as h for 0 of 0, obviously, is 0. And so again, we prove that the derivative of this function is 0.